getting one behaging that here. I've had a few subscribers who have asked me on my notebook reviews about Thunderbolt lanes and how many lanes that particular notebook has got. And it is trying to find information about that is actually quite difficult. Even the process of actually finding out how many lanes a particular computer actually has for Thunderbolt. So I thought I might create a video for this. So what you do need require is you need to have a program called HW Info. Now I'll put the link in the description below where you can download it. It is freeware, so which is fantastic. And if you wish to donate to them, please donate to them. Now, once you download it, you, there is an installation for it, or you can have a portable version. I'm just running the portable version. It's fine. Now, it does require you to actually have administrative rights to actually run the software, so it can actually access some of the uh, components of the computer. Now, what you do need, I'm just going to close down these parts here. So what you do need to look at is you're looking for this one here called bus. So if you expand that little bus there, and you'll see PCI bus. Now, under PCI bus, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff, which is the interface and endpoints of PCI bus. Now, what we're particularly looking for are these ones here called PCI Express Root Port. Now, PCI Root Express Port, if you expand that, you'll see PCI Express Port Bus 1. Now, this one has one on 6, and this one also has one on 9 as well. Now, to find out which was the PCI Thunderbolt version of the PCI Express is to look for one that actually has nothing listed underneath the PCI Express. Now, if we expand this one here on the port 4, you'll see this is the Realtek semiconductor. That is actually the network card. And this is funny because I know the brands here. And then we've got the Hynix as well, which is probably the RAM there or the SSD here. Now, you, if you look down here, this is at the moment, you can't expand this one. So this one is more than likely to be the Thunderbolt port. Now, how do we get this one to confirm this? And the easy way to confirm this is actually plugging a Thunderbolt or any device into the Thunderbolt port itself. Now I've got here is the Dell D300. I'm going to connect this up to the Thunderbolt port here. It doesn't have to be Thunderbolt as long as USB-C. And if you connect it to the Thunderbolt port, now once you have connected that USB-C device into the Thunderbolt port, refire up the HW Info application. Now once you refire up HW Info again with the USB-C device connected to the Thunderbolt port, if you now expand the bus again and look in the one where it didn't have anything listed, which on this computer it is the PCI Express root port 1. If you expand that, as you can see, now we'll see the Thunderbolt 3 bridge. So here, once you select that, or you can also select this one here, it makes no difference here. The value that we're interested in is one called maximum link width. Now this one here kind of says four times, or four X, which means four times, and that means this one here has four lanes for the Thunderbolt. Now this one says two X or two times, that means it's got two lanes for the Thunderbolt. Now if your computer doesn't have Thunderbolt, it will not be listed in PCI Express, it will be listed under USB 3 here. So that is what it will be listed as, which is not under those what we're actually after. Now the people who are interested in this value are the people who are trying to connect external GPU to actually enhance the computer for graphics. And this will be very, very valuable information for them. Just to give you a quick preview of what I'll be doing in the upcoming video, I'll be actually doing a review of this interesting product called the Service Go. It just came across my desk and I thought it was a very interesting product there. Uh, it's not a new product, but I'm just going to do my spin-off review for this one there. So be sure to check that video out when that is available. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video. Yeah.